Today's morning minute, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Christmas established the government of God. God established his kingdom through Adam, man. God gave Adam, man, dominion and rule over all the earth. Adam allowed and lost the rule of dominion of the earth to the prince of darkness, Satan. Isaiah 9 was written 700 years before the coming of the Messiah, predicting Christmas. A king is born. Jesus has come to redeem his kingdom back to his children for them to rule and reign. We read in Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7 in the Amplified, for, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government, the government shall be upon his children, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father of Eternity, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of the peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from the from the latter time forth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7 in the Amplified. Part of the kingdom of God restored is shalom peace, which is eternal peace. Shalom peace is a peace which passes all understanding. This peace is resting in the complete, finished work of Christ Jesus. It is receiving all God's love, which he gives freely, which cost him greatly. God's love satisfies the soul. It is receiving your gift of no condemnation. It's receiving your gift of righteousness. It's receiving your gift of of salvation. It's receiving your gift of healing emotionally, physically, and spiritually. It is receiving your gift that all your sins and unrighteous deeds God will remember no more. It's receiving God's perfect love, occupied love, which took all judgment, wrath, sin, fear, guilt, shame, regret, unforgiveness, and rejection on the cross. It is receiving your receipt that your sin and guilt conscious debt had been fully paid. It's receiving your gift of his kingdom and his righteousness. It's receiving your gift of his prosperity, wealth, safety, and soundness of mind. It is receiving your gift of rest, which is freedom from worry and anxiety. God's perfect rest is greater than sleep. Jesus Christ took all your judgment and wrath on the cross. God is not angry at you. He loves you. Receive God's Christmas, Christmas shalom peace of agape love. Merry, merry Christmas. Amen and amen.